Morning! Oh gosh, it's hot! Hot, hot, hot! Feeling hot, hot, hot! Burn, baby, burn! We didn't start the fire! It's so hot tonight, boys and girls! Oh, this up this morning. It's so hot this morning. Welcome along. It's Sunday the 18th of June 2017. A warm welcome along to this morning of hot hot welcome along to this morning's united kingdom talk coming as always live from the mirable studio in royal berkshire well as we as well as been of course the air conditioning man is coming tuesday that's after the heat's worn off but we'll be okay for next year unless i melt before that happens i was up at 20 past 7 20 past 7 i had my breakfast Cat made a bit of a mess this morning, so I had to clear all that up. Jumped on my bike, went to church, where people had first Holy Communion. Four of the little boys had... Uh, there were no girls, actually. Why well, was only four boys? I think it was a boys' school. Ludlow School. Oh, yes. Ludlow School. The boys uh, come there often um, from uh, to our church, Corpus Christi in Wokingham, and they were doing their first Holy Communion. Wonderful. And one of my favourite hymns of all time this morning... Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. Do you want me to go and get my organ? My port... Oh, OK, I won't bother then. So that was very nice. Um, stifling hot in the church this morning. I have to say it was really, really hot, but a beautiful cycle ride. Absolutely beautiful cycle ride. From my house, I go out here, turn a couple of corners, go, go past a small co-op uh, through an area called Great Hollands. I actually cycle through a secondary school. There's a, um, a public path that goes through there. And then when I turn up, I'm going through open fields. Oh, it's such a beautiful cycle ride. It really is. Came back here. My, my, the back of my throat keeps getting really dry at the moment. Um, I wouldn't say it was sore, just dry. And I don't know what's causing that. Any idea what that might be? Very, very strange. And I keep drinking water, um, hoping that that will achieve the quenching, but it's not. Um, so I don't know what that... I might try my cordyceal. You know that stuff? If you've got a sore throat or something in your mouth, it's always a good idea to gargle with that. Can you do gargling? Who wants to ring me up and do gargling down the phone today? Phone lines are now open. 0 2 0 Eight one double four three four double seven. There you are. A couple of people moaning. Oh, you don't open the phone lines till very late. Well, there they are. Open in the first couple of minutes today. Okay. O two o eight one double four three four double seven. Who wants to do gurgling down the phone this morning? Eh. O two o eight one double four three four double seven. Or we've got Skype. If you've got Skype, the Skype name is United Kingdom Talk. All one word. United Kingdom Talk. I keep a little lie over there in case, in case someone desperate. If you can't get through to the Samaritans, call me this morning. There you go. There's an offer you can't refuse. If you can't get through to me this morning, the, the Samaritans, give me a ring instead. Okay. Now it is Father's Day today, boys and girls. Have you remember? Oh no. Oh. Oh, is it Father's? Oh, no, I haven't got him anything. Oh, they don't... Listen, you don't have to take a present. You being there, whether it's with your dad or maybe at his grave, I don't know. You know, if you've lost your grave, a lovely thing to do. Go and see Daddy today. Put everything else on hold and go and see Daddy. He will be pleased to see you. Absolutely. I don't really get on with my dad. He will... Be pleased to see you. There's a lot of that business. Oh, I don't like my dad because and all that business. Please go and see your dads today. OK, I was looking for a suitable song. Um, For mothers, we've got Mother of Mine. Now, what 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 one for dads? Oh, you could do Cliff Richard, couldn't you? Dad is home. One of my favourite singers, Cliff Richard. Dad is home. That's but that's more of a Christmas. Is that a Christmas song? Daddy's Home, Cliff Richard. Any other Father's Day songs that you can think of, send them through now, boys and girls. I have a ring and tell me, 0208 344 or just send a little message and uh, I'll uh, pop one out for uh, I'll uh, read it out for you, OK? Uh, let's say good morning to the people who are with us this morning. Good morning to the lovely Shania on Isley Widget. Good morning, Shania. Now, what was happening on the Isle of Wight this week? Something. You had the, the Isle of Wight uh, festival last week, didn't you? But uh, what's that? Oh, my God. It's my sister Hello. calling in. Oh, no. Hello, sister. Hello. Hello. Who's that? Chris. Who's that? Is that, is that Evie? Chris. Who's that? Who's that? Jerry Butler. 
Hello. Oh, oh, they're all there this morning. Jimmy Butler International, my nephew. Who else is there? Is that Evie? Uh, Evie, Harry, Little Dave, Gary. Evie, Harry, Dave, Dave Butler International. Greetings, Dave. Uh, you don't, uh, you don't want to front. Coming up soon. Don't frighten him. Don't frighten him. But I have been looking at the area of Louth. It's very nice there. I didn't realise he was on the Lincolnshire Wolds. Yeah, he's near it, yeah. Well, I didn't know that. I looked at a couple of places yesterday because I'm always looking. You know that, Jimmy Butler International. This is my nephew speaking at the moment. Jimmy Butler International. He fixes car repairs, dents. He repaints them to perfection. You would never know that painting had been done on your car. And it all matches perfectly. Thank you, Jimmy Butler International. And you don't rip anyone off either, do you? No. No, not Thank me. I'm very reasonably priced. Thank you very much. Would you like to name check everyone who is viewing this worldwide global phenomenon known as United Kingdom Talk and me at the moment? Thank you. Thank you. No. <laughs> Come on, I'm name burnt. check. Name burnt, check. Name it. check. I'm burnt. What? I'm burnt from yesterday's sun. You're burnt? Well, more yeah. for you for sitting out in the... Did you sit out in the sun or were you just working in it? Uh, I was sit out in it with Ben. Oh, not clever, mate. You need to go under an umbrella, especially you've got fair hair, haven't you? Uh, yeah, fairly. Yeah, you've got fair hair. You've got to put something on there. You know, I get sunstroke now because of my slightly oh, thinning drinking, hair. Chris. They were drinking. Sorry? Oh, you were drunk, was you? Oh, well. well surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Can you tell your mother, my sister, not to swear? We are live on... It's not the Jeremy yeah, Carl show, swear. please. It's not the Jeremy Carl show, which I used to be on. drinking in the garden. I'm terrified that she's going to take the fl phone off you in a moment and start talking to people while, she's, while everyone's she listening. Do, yeah. Oh, please she don't let that happen. It. You want to be careful. Please, oh, I, she wants it. She you, wants it. You must run away with that phone. Don't give her the phone, for God's sake. Uh, I did not swear. Oh, hello, sis. How are you, darling? Yes, thank you. It's yeah, love... Have you been to church and seen the wind in Shatner and Spock? I've been to church already. <sighs> Nine o'clock, thank you very much. Have you? No. No, I've been out preparing a barbecue for my family. So, so, so given, given weddings and funerals and christenings, yeah. at what point have you been to church other than with me last week? Not at all. No, I didn't think so. I do oh. go in sometimes to light a candle. With someone light a know. candle, and light a candle. Eh? You don't need to go to church to pray. Well, no, you don't, but it's nice, isn't Thank it? You. It's nice to be among all... You, lovely Vivian, she had a... I think it was her granddaughter she had with her today, because it was the boys, some of the boys' first Holy Communions this morning. Oh, it was so right. hot in there, Sharon. Oh, my God, it was so hot. Like being in the studio at the moment, but I'm very hot in here. you having a priest that was like... Star Trek. You think he looks like William Shatner, doesn't he? Yeah, and the other man on the side was Spock. Spock and William Shatner, the, the yeah. entire cast of Star Trek, take our mass at the Corpus Christi Catholic Church. Yeah. They do. There you go. <laughs> now, sis, I wanted to yeah. tell people, last when you were staying here last Sunday, and yeah. uh, you mentioned that how comfortable my spare bed was, didn't you? Very, very um, Would you like to tell the millions of people that are tuning in today what I gave you? I took the topper home with me because it was that comfortable. I gave and her my mattress topper. Not the John Lewis one. I just want to point that out. That oh, don't, that will never be given. One, then. Not the John Lewis one. She got the cheaper one, but it is just as comfortable as the John Lewis one, except without the without the feather, uh, what do you call it? The um, Memory phone. The, the, no, the feather... Protector on the John Lewis one has got a feather protector on the top the, because that was the one I had. Shall the, the, the cheap mm. when I say cheaper, it was about I think it was about 60 or 70 quid that one that, that oh, I've gave you. Say. So it's not cheap, but it was cheaper yeah. than the John Lewis one. The difference between that and the John Lewis one, I bought the John Lewis one because I found now and again a little bit of the end of the feather used to come through. Oh, yes. used to do my head in shut. Yeah, and then, you get little prickles, didn't you? Yeah, you get yeah. a little prickle, and then you 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 turn over, and but you can't ignore it. And then you have to get up, you pull back the sheet. This is in the middle, of the, and I have to remove that feather because it does oh, no, my I head in. Carry on sleeping. Do you just carry on sleeping, or if oh, you get yeah. by? I mean, you could do it with like a a high, very high quality sheet, I suppose. You know, with uh, I don't know more well, I than. I need a step ladder to keep the bed. <laughs> it is quite high, isn't it? Have you got to get new sheets as well, the deeper sheets? No, because I have a valance sheet. A what? And I have a valance sheet, so What's it covers it? the base of the mattress up the, the bed. Oh, how camp. 
and it's um, a longer one than normal, so it's not bad. And is that quite thick, is it? That's just a normal shape. Oh, right. Well, I mean, you, you'd, I think you'd want something with a high thread count. Or, if the, if the feathers do start annoying you, a thick blanket on top of that and then your sheets on top of that, sis. Oh, I'll just come and get your new one. But would you just like to tell them what sort of sleep you're now having at home in comparison to what you used to have before I before I kindly, out of the goodness of my heart, let you take that mattress topper? Well, Martin wakes up now with no aches and pains. That's his. That's her husband. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I have a deep sleep now. A and deep... I mean, I sleep well, and now I'm having really deep sleep. Is it deeper? Deeper. Yeah. Oh, that is I good. can get up at two o'clock in the morning. Yes. Because the dog sometimes go, and I feel like I've been asleep all night. Oh, bless. You see how I've kindly helped you? Mind you, I yeah. have to say, the moment I said, look, I'll tell you what, why don't you take the mattress topper home? I then went and made myself a cup of tea, and I came back upstairs to, to you know, to tidy the room, and I'm like, where's that mattress topper? She'd put it in the car. Two yeah, minutes yeah. later, it was whiz. I'm it, you couldn't wait to get it in the car in case I changed my I mind, could you? Yeah, look up just in case you changed your mind. Oh, blimey. Honestly. Well, I'm glad that has made it. And if you need any help with anything else at all, just let me know. Sharon Butler International. Oh, I will. All right? I will. OK, then I'll you let have, you get on. Are you having a barbecue today? Yes, everyone's round. I've made a nice trifle. Yes. And a fruit, strawberry fruit sponge and all the foods. And Trace is making a pavlova. And Stacey's oh. brought the swimming pool. So um, it's all fun, fun, fun today. How many, how many, um, how many sins in one of those? Oh my God, I couldn't touch one of those at all. You would though, wouldn't you? Because yeah, I've made it. I probably would See? actually. Yeah. I've got, I've got, I'm having. Uh, I know this sounds stupid for Sunday dinner, and most people think this. I, I Sunday dinner to me, um, since since I left home with mum and dad, that's it's just like a normal dinner now. And today I've got egg and chips, egg beans and chips, lovely. Oh. In the oh, oven, when I say dinner. chips, that's not fried chips or oven chips. I, I do everything myself now. So I've got a potato. I've got about two or three potatoes that I cut into chips. I stuck them in the microwave for five minutes. And then now in the oven, baking at 200. Why don't you do some nice wedges in the week? Nice well, wedges the, and put chilli flakes on them. They're um, nice and garlic. They Very are. Nice. Actually, they are wedges. Yeah, they are wedges. I haven't peeled... homemade? Are they homemade? Of course, well, I just said that, didn't you listen to me? Well, I'm just checking because you're See, you never listen to me. You never listen to me, do you? Why are you, you just... putting them in the microwave? See, yeah, I can't get my words out now. You're just talking over me all the time. It's just pointless, isn't it? It's like that, like that bed. Now you say it's the most uh, most comfortable sleep you've ever had. I remember, I remember, and this is this I is know, firm mattress. This I is know. you. This is you. When you've made up your mind, I might as well just walk away because there's no arguing with well, you. Well, you're the same. I am not the same. I always back same. down. I always back down to you. And a oh. couple of, was it was it last year I bought my new bed from Bentles? It was, wasn't it? Uh. Bought a new bed from Bentles. Oh and I rang her up. First person I ring is Sharon, my sister, when when any, I when, think so too. when anything happens. And um Ronnie Ronnie, my best mate, he says, Oh, you should ring me for no, I ring my sister first. I don't think he likes that. Not being the first well, to know. I he doesn't like that, you know. He does <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I said I've got another uh, beautiful soft bed. I said I've just got now. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. No, I like my bed. I like my bed firm. I can't get to sleep unless I've got a firm bed. So you take the mattress topper. So effectively, you've now got a soft bed. And you I'll say that it's the most... Cu you see, you, if only you'd listen to me first. Yes, but underneath that mattress topper is a firm mattress. Yeah, so but you've... the best of both worlds. You've made it soft. You've made, do you prefer it firm or soft now? Well, soft I suppose now, isn't it? But I don't know if I'd go out and get a soft, soft mattress, though. Oh, right. Because your bed... Yeah. When I sunk in it, that was very soft, wasn't My it? bed? You're not allowed to... No one's no, allowed, allowed to sleep in my bed. bed. on Sunday. Pardon? I oh, yes, right I pushed... Down, didn't I? I pushed you back on... Oh. Did I push you back on it? No, that was Auntie yeah. Brenda, wasn't it, when she came over here? You put Come yourself, and say... <laughs> Auntie Brenda, <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> that was. Oh, she'll be happy soon, little Auntie Brenda. I'd only had the... this weekend. I'm going to try and get her on the um, on the Kingdom karaoke that we do now. I'm going to try and get her. I've got a few people lined up now, and we're just uh, finding time to record those. But yeah, it is. I, I do like a soft bed as well, you know. However, I will say that mattress topper you've got and the John Lewis. I had this idea of putting them both on, so I put that one 
underneath and my one on top and I thought oh this would be really comfortable but I found you completely sunk into it and that wasn't very um no I didn't uh, like too that too much that yeah. was too much it's too yeah. much anyway like so you're in the crowd wouldn't it yeah you're doing barbecue is um are any young dads there at the moment is Gary there yeah Gary's there ah well do the little ones want to wish their their um dads happy um father's Hang day on, then. Hey, hey, be happy. Oh, bring them on, bring them on. Is it just those two there at the moment? Yeah, the others haven't arrived. Okay. Who's first? Right, Evie, say happy Father's Day to Daddy. Happy Father's Day. Daddy. No, you say happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Is that Harry Butler? Uh, Harry Butler. Harry, this will talk to you. What? Is that Harry Butler? What? Do you know who this is? Who? Who is this? Who are you talking to? Nanny. No, it's not Nanny. No, try again. Yeah. Chris Reardon. Blah, <laughs> blah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'll see you in September. You're listening to that. Happy Father's Day. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. Thank you, Reeve. Lots of love to you both. Enjoy the barbecue. Are you doing? The phone on the floor. Are you doing? Well, that's what they do now. That's called a mic drop. Now you right. you see this on some television pro. I don't know what this is about, but some of the young people they sing they sing and then they throw the microphone on the floor. I don't know what that's about. If someone does that to me, I will have to have them murdered. They will have to be murdered. Oh, I'm afraid. You're placing your microphone. Yeah. That's what doing. So are you having a barbecue today? Yes, all coming round. Lovely. Nice what family you, get together? Are you having dead animal barbecue? Oh, you can't beat it. Oh, how awful. Tell me what at what poor animals have had to die so oh, that you can... Oh, we've got full range. Oh, no, we haven't got lamb. Oh, we've got good. Steak, we've got steak, we've got chicken, we've got pork. Oh, all those animals, dear. Can't you just have a nice couple of chips and a little bit of bread or something like that? No. Oh. Lovely jubbly. Oh, well. Well, thank you for calling in, sis. It's been a pleasure speaking to you live on air this morning. It really has. For you. Okay then. <laughs> Cheerio. Bye, sis. Bye. 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 Oh, how lovely! Wasn't that lovely to have my sister call? I was terrified she was going to swear. She don't usually speak posh like that. No. Oh, the, the honestly, some of the language coming out of her sometimes. Now I've got to tell you, I have got chips in the oven, so I can't be here for ages and ages. Though I'm not sure how long they're supposed to be in there. Perhaps any, if anyone knows, uh, I've got, um, uh, they are wedges, actually. Wedges sprayed in fry light. They've been in about 10 minutes, uh, about about 15 minutes now, and it's on 200. Any ideas how long they should be in? Because I don't want to burn them. Do you know what I mean? Uh, let's say good morning. Good morning to Gustav, who says, Morning, Butch. It's lovely to see you. I don't know why, but seeing your beautiful crooked, crooked yellow smile and your cherub bucally round face every day makes me really makes my day does it really Gustav well you're usually only there for the first two minutes aren't you dear dear me morning to Ray Bolesco morning Ray uh, said saw the intro is getting longer no it's not no it's not it's been five minutes for months now Ray you don't you see you pretend to watch all the time and you don't know the intro is about is five minutes long it's like a countdown and then a little bit of music, and then it starts, you see. Um, and uh, Ray is watching from Morrison's in Queensbury, probably on his little mobile phone, are you? Good morning, Ray. Hope you've got air conditioning in there. It's so hot here. Good morning to the lovely uh, Diane Jeb, who says, have a beautiful day. It certainly is beautiful here. Hello, Callum. Callum's up in Northampton, says, hi, Chris. I'm not having a good morning at all. Oh, we'll try, I'll try and make you smile, Callum, with this. Just close your eyes and forget everything, just for a couple of minutes, honestly. Make you feel a little bit better just for a couple of minutes while I'm here. Okay. Um, Ray says, how is Katie the cat? Ah, she's not doing too bad. Um, unfortunately, yesterday I, I made an error for the second time. It's the second time I've done this. Uh, at the moment, she's in the garden. Okay. The garden is under shade until about 12. And then the sun starts moving across. Now, I need to move her in before the sun gets to her because, as happened again second for the second time yesterday because I forgot she was out there, uh, you go out there and she's... Because <laughs> she's overheated. I don't think she's aware that the sun's on her. She's actually The cat is not aware of anything going on, really. I mean, 
when I feed her now, she's, she's like standing there waiting for the food. Meow, meow. And you put the food out and she's still meowing. She can't see it. I don't think she can see it. I think she's feeling her way around now because sometimes she walks into things as well. Bless her heart. Um, so I literally have to put the food right in front of her and then I gently pull, pull her head over. Uh, and, then, and then she suddenly, I think she smells it. She suddenly realises it and then starts noshing away. And she does eat quickly. She, she can have two packets. She eats a lot. She's not putting any weight, but she does eat an awful lot. Uh, but she's OK for the moment. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate you asking. Uh, good morning to lovely Carl. Hello, Carl Mawson. Hope you're well. Uh, it's about time we had another dinner, isn't it, Carl? With um, Matt and that. Perhaps you'll mention that to him. Is he still getting drunk now every night at his age? Dear, dear me. Uh, Callum's enjoying the sun. It is beautiful out there. I'm not one to sit in the sun, to be honest. I get very bored. Um, Holiday-wise, I can't be, like, going somewhere and sitting on on the beach doing nothing. And honestly, I, I get hot so quickly. That's not me at all. I don't mind a little bit of a swim. Here's a, here's a word of advice for you. Whenever you're going in the sea, have with yourselves an old pair of trainers, plimpsoles, something like that, that will stay on your feet. Not flip-flops, because they come off. Especially if you are abroad, because there are things, sea, or what are they called now? Sea urchins, which have these spikes. Now, if you, they're not massive spikes, but if you tread on one, you will bloody well know about it. Oh, I swore. <gasps> you will know about it. Never, ever go in this, and even if you're in this country, you've got a sharp stone, something like that, or a crab. You know, maybe there's a crab walking next to you and it pinches, or, or, I hate to say it, litter. Tin cans and things in the sea that are floating around all over the place. That's the world we live in now, unfortunately. Put something on your feet. Absolutely put something on your feet. Or, you know, you can have a terrible... I never, ever go in the sea without a pair of old trainers or something like that on, OK? Uh, Shania, good morning, Russell. Bruce, hello, Russell. I worked with Russell in uh, Notting Hill, didn't I? Good morning, Russell. Uh, Shania said we had First Holy Communion last weekend. Uh, we seem to have three of them. Today, there was only four boys. Four boys did it. Uh, then last week, and this week as well, we had it on Saturday as well. So usually I don't see it. Because it's, of course, uh, the... Uh, what is it today? Tr Trinity thing. A tr Trinity thing, I think, today, is it? Have I got that right? Or was that last week? I can't remember now. But uh, we had the Holy Communion. There was only four boys today. And I think a whole class... Yesterday and a whole class last Saturday. I think that's how it works here. Good morning, John. John Aitken, who's got hay fever. Oh, you haven't, have you, John? How ghastly that is, isn't it? Hay fever. Oh, I don't seem to suffer from it uh, too badly. Uh, 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 Health-wise, the last few weeks, I seem to have gone right up. I don't know why. Um, I've suffered for a long time with a stomach uh, problem. Uh, constipation, really. Uh, and I've been on this powder stuff for months now, actually months and months and months. Constipation problem I've had for about a year and a half. But the last two or three weeks, it's everything seems to be starting to work, including no asthma problems. Nothing at all. Just a, a little bit here and there. But actually, I think probably more in my head. Uh, and I've actually stopped doing the brown steroid inhaler that you're supposed to do twice a day uh, some weeks ago. Because I'm thinking, well, it doesn't seem to be anything wrong now. You know, and I've, I think, obviously not with drugs that are keeping you alive. I do have a couple of pills there. Um, but with stuff that you're taking for a condition, perhaps... Um, I, 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 I personally feel that the less... Drugs that you... We're talking, of course, prescription drugs. The less drugs you take, the better. Because they they must all do something to you, as well as helping you, don't you think? So I stopped taking the, the powder, the anti-constipation powder. It's just like a powder. What it does, it goes in, sits in your bowel, and it's supposed to absorb water back into your bowel, you see. That's how it works. And then things start working. Well, that's been fine for a couple of weeks now. It really is. So I stopped taking the powder a couple of weeks ago, so I'm pleased about that. Also, the um, the steroid inhaler thing. You know, listen, I'm, everything's fine, and I haven't had that for a few weeks now, So, um, I, I, and I don't know why that is. Hay fever. I used to think I suffered from hay fever. I do sneeze in this room. I do sneeze quite a lot in this room. In fact, talking about sneezing, I often... 
<laughs> often brings it on, as you've just seen. <laughs> Isn't that strange and mysterious, John? It really is. Um, hay fever. Could it be hay fever? The, the dryness in my throat? Oral thrush? I suppose it could be that. I'll try my cordyceal. I've got some cordyceal that I have sometimes when I have mouth problems. And see if that uh, sorts it out. Gargle with that. Callum says I should be down this week for your karaoke. Which one are you coming to, Callum? Are you coming tonight? Karaoke tonight, Sunday night karaoke is uh, at the Camden Eye. You come out of Camden Tube Station and it's there in front of you. Make sure you come out the right door. There's two entrances, OK? So if you, if you walk out one door and you look in, you can't see a pub called the Camden Eye. Go out the other door. It literally is across. You walk across the road, you walk in the door. It's that close. Ten seconds walk. It's so close. That's tonight and every Sunday, 8 till 11, OK? 8 till 11 every Sunday. Try and get there a bit earlier. What happened last week, a lot of people got there about half past nine, ten o'clock, by which time it's a bit late to start putting songs in because the lists have built up. There are people that come, they actually get there at half past seven to get a seat. You know, it's a smallish place. Uh, what can I compare it to? Um... I don't know, really. It's a small-ish pub. Although there's an upstairs, I'm on the ground level. And, you know, if, if you want to sit somewhere quiet, you've had enough of the singing, perhaps, especially if I've sung, and then you can go upstairs and sit up there. It is quite big, and it's on a couple of floors. But where I am, it's sort of a small-ish, OK? So tonight and every Sunday, karaoke at the Camden and I, 8 till 11 o'clock, right? Good morning to Keith George, joining us this morning from sunny... Mal <sighs> to... <sighs> Why is it I can never remember where you are? I know it begins with T. And it's not Torre Molinos. It's Tan... I, I, I've got a... Keith is with us this morning and he lives on a volcanic island. And I've got a mental block with the name of this island. I know Keith very well. He's lived on this island for years and told me every single time he's called in, he's told me, and I can never remember where it is. Isn't that weird? It's very, very strange that... Uh, John says, father and son, boy zone. Yes, of course. La da 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 Morning to Adam the plumber. Adam's with us this morning. Morning, Adam. Morning, Ricky. Hello, Ricky. Uh, who, 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 I was going to give one of my spider plants to, but the one I gave him last time has now had babies. We've got spider plants to give away at the moment, boys and girls. If you, it won't be as big as this. It'll be a small one in a pot in two years' time, or one year's time even might be. It will be as big as this, I promise you. It's the great spider plant giveaway. I've got about 15 to give away. If you want one, then just send me a private email, you know, a private um, Facebook message. I'll respond to it a little bit later on. And let me know where you're going to be. Which one of the places that I do karaoke will you turn up at? Now, if you're wondering where I do those, just keep an eye on my wall. It always tells you where they are. Tonight, it's Camden Town, the Camden Eye. Tomorrow uh, and Friday, Central Station in King's Cross. Or you can come along, uh, or Saturday indeed, uh, fr Monday, Friday or Saturday, Central Station in King's Cross, Wharfdale Road. Or um, the King's Head Theatre Bar on Wednesday night where I do the uh, quiz night. If you want a spider plant completely free of charge, I'm giving them away. Grown by my own little hands in a little pot. No charge at all. Bring your own bag. Let me know if you want one or two. You can have two if you want to. But let me know where you're going to be. OK, and I'll put it in the car. Morning to Grant this morning. Tim Ryan. Good morning to Tim Ryan. That's my cousin. Tim Ryan in Australia. He's got a business. He runs, um, he does gardening. He climbs up trees on one of those things on string and all that. I never forget he told me once, Tim is English and he moved, uh, he met a, a beautiful girl called Jo. And they married and they've got three stunningly good looking children, I tell you. And he's, his business is gardening and he goes up trees and he, his, one of his stories that he likes to tell is when he was up a tree once and the spiders in, in Australia are very different, dangerous. And this huntsman spider crawled down. He was up a tree, crawled, suddenly landed on his head, crawled down his face and bit his nose. And he actually saw the fangs coming out. How scary is that? Oh, I would have fallen down the tree, dear. Do be careful up those big old trees, my love. Very, very dangerous. Good morning, Tim and your family. Um, 
uh, let's have a look. Uh, Corpus Christi Sunday. Of course it was today. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning to Duke, who was very drunk last night, I gather. Were you, Duke? You naughty boy. Honestly, hands all over me last night. What was wrong with you last night, Duke? Kept touching me every time I went, but I was starting to get scared, to be honest. Morning, Terry H. is with us. Carl says, you know, Matt, he will be always drunk. Yes. Um, yes, indeed. And let us know when the Christmas one is. Can we have it on a Tuesday again, please? Because I'm off on Tuesdays. Graham says, with cats, you have to have seven years for every one of human, which gives a two comparison of old age. So your cat uh, is 15, for example. She would be 105. No, she's 18. My cat is 18 years old. Have you considered for a, applying to the government benefits section as a carer? Uh, if When Labour get in, yes. Because they will just give out money left, right and centre as well, you know, Graham. You won't have to fill in a form. None of this now where it's difficult to get money out of them. No. As soon as Labour get in, and I have a terrible feeling about the next election, which I'm sure will happen around October, I think they're going to win. Dreadful. I've, I've, I've already made my garden much smaller. I'm bringing the fence all in. So that I do, garden tax. He wants to put a garden tax. Oh, Jezza, doesn't he? I think they're going to win. Oh, dear, dear me. Oh, we're going to be in crisis again. But when that happens, the first thing I'll do is write to Jeremy Corbyn and ask for some money for caring for my cat. And I know they just hand it over. They don't worry. They borrow some more and they'll hand it all over, won't they? <laughs> Good morning to Peter Hyde. Henry White's with us as well. Uh, can you say hello to my beautiful daughter, Jade? Good morning, Jade. How are you? You're first one to see this strange man sitting in here talking to himself. Now, I'm concerned about my chips because I've been talking for half an hour, which means I've been in there half an hour now. I'll give it 10 more minutes, OK? 10 more minutes and I better go because uh, I am very, very concerned that my chips are going to burn uh, <laughs> in the oven. Um... Popped up to the supermarket yesterday because I'd run out of onions. Um, I, I like, I do like onions. I, I eat a lot of onions. And um, surprise, surprise, uh, as well as having the frozen items, I didn't have time to go to Waitrose. Waitrose is a bit of a trek, really. Uh, so I have to walk up to that ghastly supermarket called Sainsbury's. And they've, they've got the frozen garlic and the frozen chilies as well. Frozen basil, frozen parsley and frozen onions. How fantastic is that? Frozen onions. See, you don't have to sit there crying. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop, chop. <laughs> don't have to do that anymore. Pop the bag open and pour them in. All done. Only a pound. A pound for all those frozen onions. How fantastic is that? Cooking is just getting easier and easier, isn't it? So stop eating things out of boxes. Cook yourselves. That's the way to do it, all right? Um, all right, uh, we got a, um, where are we now? Uh, just a moment, that's it. Da, da, da. I was shocked and horrified to see this in the Bracknell News today. I mean, what is going on in my own area? Look at this, a gang shipping Class A drugs from London into Berkshire. Berkshire! We've never had any trouble like this. Have been jailed for more than 30 years. I reckon it's that family up the road. We've got a family on this road. That's all I need to say, isn't it? One of those families. Children out there running around up and down the street. They were using the footpath the other day as a cricket pitch. Balls go... Four. Oh, no, that's golf, isn't it? Is that golf? Four. They were honestly dreadful, running around, screaming their heads off all the time. They used to be able to, bl to, to cycle past, because I'm at the end. People used to be able to cycle and walk past there until I put plants there. And they've grown now. No one can walk past now. They get, the, oh, we can't get out that way. And they have to go the other way. If I hadn't done that a few years ago, they would be cycling past there now. Sh screaming and shouting. Dreadful. Anyway, uh, it says the 50, the 50, 50 people in this, the 50 strong drug dealing network was broken up by a series of raids. Good. That's what we need to do. We need to bang this. You get one of those things. You see the police doing it on police crime programs, border control stuff. Can't pay well, take it away. I love it all. 
I love seeing those criminals. They bang the door in. Police, please get out. The only thing is that I don't like about these programmes, you never see the people getting beaten, do you? You never see that these drug dealers, they need to be hauled out of the house and beaten. Beaten into submission in the street in front of everyone. They need to be taken to schools. And then at, when it's playtime, like and all the kids come out, all the children come out in their little uniforms, girls and boys. And then they say, OK, everyone, this is what happens to criminals. And then you bring the criminal in into the school playground and you and the police come and they throw them on the floor and they beat them. Beat them like that, beaten in front of everyone. And then the children won't grow up and do it. I don't see the problem. Ow. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, oh, you've got to talk to them and understand them. No, you haven't. They need to be dragged out of the house, smashed the door down, dragged out and beaten in sub submission. That's what needs to happen to these people. Well, apparently, five men and one woman have all been sentenced uh, about this. They were sent runners into the home of vulnerable drug users. Now, I haven't heard anything like this before. This process is known as cuckooing. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Cuckooing, it's called. The runners take the keys from the vulnerable drug users. I suppose they're the people that, that um, are... Um, uh, uh, what's the word? Addicted to drugs. And then they go to these people and buy the stuff, don't they? Uh, the runners... Uh, what are runners then? Are they the drug dealers? I suppose they're the drug dealers. Uh, why does it say runners and not drug dealers? Runners, drug dealers... The runners take the keys from the vulnerable drug users, enabling them to come and go and conduct their illicit businesses as they please. Cuckooing! Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Very dangerous, dear. Very dangerous. Drag them out and beat them. Beat them in front of people. That's that's what needs to happen. I, I, and I am correcting that. I know that. Uh, Adam says, you mean to tell me that your onion glasses going into retirement? Yes, I'm afraid so. The onion glasses. Do you remember those? They were never very good, really. I've got these glasses, my favourite sunglasses, as chosen for me by my nephew. He didn't buy them, but I was looking at some glasses. I think this. I bought these when I was in Florida. And, you know, it's the, it's the funniest thing, isn't it, really? I like these glasses because my nephew chose them. Do you know what I mean? It's like getting uh, something made by a child and getting given that, you know, on Christmas Day. Your present is a piece of paper with little bits stuck on it, some glitter, and it you don't, doesn't even need to look like anything. It's come from a child. Isn't that a wonderful thing? And my nephew chose these when we were in Florida a couple of years ago at Walt Disney World. Oh, yes. La da 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 da. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to go now. Um, let me see. All right. Uh, let's do today's birthdays and then we'll go. A, a slightly short show today, boys and girls. A, sh a slightly short show today. Got quite a few birthdays today, though. Happy birthday today to Martin Rutherford. I think you've watched the show a few times. Happy birthday, Martin. Uh, Leah Sherry, Leah, who I used to work with at Belushi's in Hammersmith. I don't forget people, Leah. I don't forget people, darling. You used to come and sit next to me while I was DJing. I had a wonderful... There are certain jobs that I really, really miss. I'll list them for you. Uh, Belushi's, Hammersmith and London Bridge. The Black Cap in Camden. Were there any others? Yes, Colours, which is in Romford, that's no longer there now. There are a few others, actually. Harpo's in Ells Court. There's a few jobs that I really miss. Other jobs were jobs. They're done, and I've gone. The one I recently left, uh, two brewers. I was there for 18 years. Uh, give or take three around the middle somewhere. Um, I was there for 18 years, uh, minus three in the middle. Um, but it was only ever a job. Don't miss it. Don't miss it at all. Not, not the people, not the customers, anything. That doesn't mean it was all right. It was all right, but it was just a job. There are other places that you connect to. You connect to them. And those four there that I mentioned there, um, I did connect to. Probably some others if I thought about it. Uh, happy birthday today. Uh, so happy birthday, Leo. I hope you're doing well. Uh, have you got married yet or a little family yet, perhaps? I think so. Uh, James uh, Weish. I think it's Weish, is it, my darling? Happy birthday to James. 32 years old today. Red hair. Interesting. Was it supposed to be red or was it supposed to be another colour and you've left the bleach on too long? <laughs> Looks all right to me, though. It's fine. Happy birthday, James. Darren Morris. Hello, Darren. He's got a lovely flat and a gated development in Brixton. 37 years old. Happy birthday, Darren. Uh, 
Andrea Ricky, 43 years old today. Great age, 40s. In your 40s, it's a fantastic age. Happy birthday to Andrea. Uh, John Ward, who I worked with in a couple of places. Uh, the Black Cap. We didn't really get on there. doesn't matter, though. Uh, he then went to the Golden Line, and I worked with him there. And I worked with him in West Five. Very successful um, uh, pub manager. He's doing really well now. Happy birthday to you, John. All right, I'll try and pop in at some point and see you. Okay, uh, very good friend of mine. John Ward, happy birthday to you, sir. Uh, Colin White, picture there of your little babies there. Happy birthday, Colin. Happy birthday to Kelsey Andrea Carlton, 28 years old today. Another one that I've worked with, Kelsey. Happy birthday, Kelsey. Jenna Fowler, happy birthday, Jenna. Uh, Thomas O'Brien, hello, Thomas. One of our Black Cap customers from years gone by. Happy birthday, Thomas. Uh, Daniel Boswell, 40 years old today. As I say, a great age to be in your 40s. Uh, John Keary, huge Doctor Who fan. And he's met Tom Baker, haven't you, John? Happy birthday, John. Chris uh, Delderfield, happy birthday, Chris. And James Maguire today is 37 years old. Is that you? You don't look 37, do you, James? Or oh, Jamie? 37, you look like you're 28 there. No. 24. You look like you're 24 in that picture. So uh, happy birthday to you as well. Let's sing the song, gang. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. All right. Once again, boys and girls, don't forget, tonight it's um, Sunday night and I'll be hosting karaoke at the Camden Eye in Camden Town starting at 8 o'clock and finishing at 11 o'clock. It's not too late, start, finish. Okay. It actually finishes around about a quarter to 10 to 11, OK? Not bang on 11, but 8 till 11 tonight. That's the karaoke each and every Sunday at the Camden Eye in Camden Town. Uh, enjoy your Sunday. It's so beautiful out there. I bet my chips are burnt. Oh, dear. Never mind. I'll just scrape off the black and eat them up. Have a nice day. Cheerio now.